Hi, my name is Ryan Brown and I'm in seventh grade. Uh, coming from someone who has grown up with autism, uh, how do you believe children with autism should be raised? In a strict environment, uh, being pushed to do their very best, or a more lenient one uh, where they are excused for events concerning autism, or is there a middle ground? Well, the thing is, autism's a big spectrum. You know, half of Silicon Valley's got mild autism. And if you got rid of all the autism genetics, you better like your iPhone really well because you're not going to get another one. <laughs> because there's not going to be anybody around to invent the next one, and there's not going to be anybody around to build the next one. Tell me just that. Some. And, and at one end of the spectrum, you get a smart, geeky, nerdy kid going to computer science or art, you know, or various things. And then at the other end, you've got somebody who's going to remain nonverbal and is going to have to live in a supervised situation, which requires different kinds of services. I'm a believer in stretching. Because if you don't stretch them some to do new things, like let's say mother had said, okay, you don't have to go to the ranch. When I got out to the ranch, I loved it. I talked to another mom where her kid was scared to go to a sleepaway camp, and when he went to the sleepaway camp, he ended up liking it. You see, you've got to stretch, but no surprises. Surprises cause panic and fright. So no surprises. But if you don't stretch them some, they're not going to go anywhere. Now, there are certain sensory things. They can get into so much sensory overload that the child can't tolerate it. Yeah, there might be some really noisy things that they'd be excused from doing. But autism should not be used as an excuse to not learn basic skills like shopping or ordering food at restaurants or doing laundry. I'm seeing too many kids today where these basic skills, they don't know how to do them because nobody made them do it. You know, so I'd say, there's a thing that drives me nuts since I work in a technical field, is there's all kinds of old uh, people on the spectrum that like keep the, ma the meat packing plants going. You know, and then I go to an autism meeting and then this like 10 year old comes up to the book table and all he wants to do is tell me about his autism. I don't like it when these kids get fixated on autism. No, I'd rather have them fixated on something they can turn into a career. But on the other hand, people have said to me, if I could snap my fingers, would I change myself and not be autistic? No. I like the logical way that I think. I really, really like that.